hey guys welcome back to my channel um on today's video i have a little review slash swatches on the new modern renaissance palette so i ordered this palette on anastasiabeverlyhills.com it retails for 42 dollars free shipping so i just paid 42 dollars so here's a box this is a box that came in shows you the colors it does come with 14 beautiful eyeshadows um, most of their other palettes I do have five of them were mostly well, were all limited edition this one is permanent so that's really good so here's the palette it, it reminds me of that it cosmetic palette like the palette packaging like the velvety one or the naked the first naked palette that pink of course it's gonna get dirty you know I have used it three times already I haven't been able to put it down since I got it it's a really nice palette like I said let me open it up it has a mirror over here and it comes with the brush typical one is that a Hills brush and those are the shades I'm really happy I got this palette this is what I have on my eyes today I love it they're easy to blend they do kick up a lot of product but i mean that's that doesn't really bother me but they're beautiful they blend this they blend beautifully honestly they go on the eyes really good i mean there's nothing negative only they kick up product product but that's about it you know a lot of eyeshadows do that so yeah so that's the palette right there let's go ahead and compare it to the other ones i have so I have the self-made palette. So here's Renaissance and the self-made. Let's see anything that might be similar. So that was the self-made. Next I have the Shadow Couture World Traveler. Which this one has less shadows. Sorry. Hold on, hold on. Let me do it like that. This thing is fighting me. Right there. As you see, this this palette is beautiful. They all are, but. Here's next to the artist palette. With the artist palette is pretty um, colorful. I have two more guys. Please hold off. Let me take that brush out. This one's the Tamana palette. Which I need to use more because some of these palettes I have only used them like once no shame no shame and lastly is the amarizi palette just right there so like i said um the this palette right here i mean you, you have your pop of color you can have your neutral look it's a beautiful beautiful palette it's so worth it in my opinion for me but there okay so let's go ahead and swatch it and you guys see we'll see what i'm talking about so let's start with tempera tempera right here golden ochre beer mirror point fresco four shades right there let me get a little bit more of these they are like i said they are powder pretty they kick up a lot of product then i got a antique bronze love letter cypress umber 
and lastly raw sienna. So there are the shades. They're really pigmented but powdery. So keep that in mind. Okay. Next this is burnt orange, primavera, red ochre, and Venetian red. So there are the swatches. Then warm taupe, right there, and ochre. So there are the swatches. I mean, they're beautiful with those red colors, pinks. You, like I said, you get your neutrals, you get your bright colors, you get a little bit of everything. This palette is so beautiful. Only the kick up of product, as you can see, the swatches. You can see a little bit of product right there, but it's beautiful. Sorry about the crazy highlight, but I just did like a first impressions slash demo on the glow kit and the new glow kit so that's why that crazy highlighter so yeah guys those are the swatches i love the palette i'm gonna try to bring some looks so you guys can see it working so you can see it in action and see if you guys like it so yeah um i hope you guys like this review thank you so much for subscribing thank you for watching um please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please do so Thank you again and have a good day.